Hello Cougar fans, I'm Assistant Sports Information Director Davin Wilson and thanks for joining us on Avery University's 101. I'm joined here today by men's and women's tennis head coach Bert Poole. Bert, appreciate you coming along. Hello Davin. And uh, go ahead and jump right into it. So uh, the, the men's team knocked off regionally ranked Piedmont 5-4 to four, uh, on the road over the weekend. Can you discuss the team's performance a little bit? Well, that, that was a, a good team we beat. We were really proud of the guys. They did a lot of hard work to get to that point that we could compete with a team at that level, a regionally ranked team. So uh, we're really happy with the results of that. It was really close. Uh, and uh, the atmosphere, it was a really good college tennis atmosphere because uh, when it came down to that ninth and deciding match, everybody was yelling and screaming for their uh, for their team, and it was just a really good atmosphere. I'm glad the guys got to experience that. Okay, and uh, freshman Alfonso Jimenez, you know, definitely had a big, big weekend for a freshman yeah. picking up that crucial victory that helped decide the game against Piedmont. How impressed were you with his performance? Well, he, he was uh, he was exceptional, not not just because he won, but because you know all season we've been trying to get to improve everybody's mental toughness. And uh, in, in Pancho's case, he's a real very energetic and passionate guy. He loves tennis, and he will study videos of Federer and all the top players, and and he likes to emulate their techniques and what they do, and and that and that's a big part of why he became such a good player. But in some ways, it can be a detriment because he sometimes gets too overly excited, too overly aggressive, hitting low percentage shots. And that's something we worked on all season is keeping your emotions in check and staying at an even keel through the whole match. And he really worked hard at that through that match. And uh, that was the best match I ever saw him play from a mental toughness standpoint. And uh, I'm sure it's a match he'll never forget. Okay, and uh, the team also picked up an impressive 6-3 win uh, yeah. against Covenant College uh, to start off the weekend. Uh, what were some of the uh, keys to, uh, to success in that game? Well, I'm starting to look at our guys, our team as D and D. We call them. We have we talk about doubles, and we have a lot of depth. Okay, so that's our D and D, and that's uh, an example. The Covenant match is an example of that. We got two out of three doubles matches. And we also won at three, four, five, and six singles. So uh, we're really tough uh, throughout the lineup. We've got a lot of depth, and that's allowing us to be even a good, strong team like Covenant. Okay. And the men's team is off to one of its uh, best starting years, you know, coming in at, you know, picking up the seven wins so far out of nine matches, I believe. That's right. Uh, you know, can you discuss their performance a little bit overall? Well, it's it's hard not to be happy <laughs> with uh, <laughs> what they've accomplished this year. But as a coach, you know, from day to day, you're always looking at ways to get better. So it's not something that you sit back and be happy about. You're wondering how can I get a kid to return serve better? How can I get a kid a kid more mentally tough in a difficult situation? And lo things like that. I think if you ask me that question when the season's over in a month, you know, I'm going to be able to look back on. Uh, their performance and uh, their work ethic and everything they did and, and look at this as a very successful season. And, but we've got some work to do uh, before the season is over. It's going to be fun. Okay. Well, Bart, we appreciate you sitting down and joining us. Thank so, you, Dave. No problem. And uh, fans, thanks for joining us at home on Avery University's 101. Uh, once again, I'm Assistant Sports Information Director Davin Wilson and hope you tune in again next week.